Good evening, everybody. I hope you're well. Um, hopefully you tune in for tonight's workout. Um, if you saw the scores before, you know that you're going to need a resistance band. Okay. I've actually got two tonight. Uh, I'm going to use the light one for the push-ups. I'm going to use a slightly heavier one for the band for the RDLs we're going to do, and then we've got body weight squat as well. Although, if you want to load that up, you can do. Um, so, quick rundown of what tonight's session is going to be. Three exercises, every minute on the minute. We're going to start with a push-up, or a banded push-up, or an incline push-up. Whatever is right for your ability level uh, and your strength level. Second exercise is a banded RDL. So, with your band, um, you're going to loop up under your feet, holding the ends nice and tight, flat back, and you're going to run through your hinge that way. Okay. And then lastly, you've got a body weight squat. So do whatever you want with your hands. Feet, bit shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more, just sitting down into the squat nice and deep, coming back out, okay? It's a time session. So it's a variation on every minute on the minute. Which that mean, what that means is that at the start of the minute, you go, uh, you work for the prescribed amount of time, and then you rest till the end of that minute. The start of the next minute, you start with the next exercise, and so on and so forth. Round one, each exercise for 45 seconds, which means you get a 15 second rest, which kind of sucks. The second round is 35 seconds, the third round is 25, the last round is 15 seconds of each exercise. Okay, so as you get more fatigued, you get more rest time, which should make it a bit more manageable. All right, so if you're ready to begin, um, if you have a timer, that'd be handy, although if you're keeping up with me, um, I've got a timer here, so I'll keep an eye on time for you. All right, so get yourself a bit of space. If you're doing the band push up or the regular push up, it's your choice. The bit of advice I would give you is pace yourself, okay? Um, there's no point in going balls to the wall straight away um, and fading halfway through. But if you need to take a break, take a short breather, get back into it, and keep get as many reps done as you can. All right, so if you're ready, I'll get the clock started and we'll be off. So we're going 45 seconds of push ups taken with. And that's a come up and halfway. Fifteen to go. There's ten seconds. Five seconds. Time. So relax there. Shake your arms out a little bit if you need it. If you're using a heavier band, just make sure you anchor it correctly, keep a good solid tight hold of it, and you're ready to go. Now, so with the hinge, make sure your back stays flat, drive tall, keep your arms long, and just run through the reps. Try and keep them nice and smooth, drive your hips through hard at the top. And look at that, we're halfway through already. Fifteen to go. So targeting the hamstrings, the back. You're going to challenge your grip and shoulders as well. Five seconds. Time. Hi everybody who's just joined. Okay, squats coming up, 45 seconds, body weight. Let's go. So thinking with this one, to drop your hips straight down. So your hips drop straight down as much as you can. You're not pushing them back, all right? So sit into the squat. Make sure your knees track out over your middle toes as you go. Like you say, do whatever you feel right with your hands. 
from balance you've got about five seconds left and relax so this extra round is going to be tough so you've got a lot of rest time before you back into it but it's a shorter set one good rest time this time so it starts to get a little bit more manageable 35 seconds this time Halfway, so I feel it now. Ten seconds left. Time. So, like I say, now you're getting a little bit longer rest time. So, as you fatigue, you get a bit more time to deal with it. And then the subsequent sets are going to get a little bit shorter as well. So we're back into RDLs. If you don't have a band for the RDLs, the alternative for this one is a glute bridge. Okay. So there we go, 35 seconds. And at the bottom here, try and resist your shoulders getting pulled forward too much. Keep them kind of pulled back and down, more down than back really. Halfway. It's not done this way. You can see my back stays nice and flat all the way through. I don't know why I don't round out anyway. Five seconds. So with that one, see you're hitting the hamstrings. If you don't feel your hamstrings on it, typically one of two things has happened. Either your knees got too bent and you let them slide forwards, just into tension here, or you let your back go and your hips are rolled away and you lose the tension towards the top end of the hamstring. Okay, into squats. So, 35 seconds of squats here. Um, if you're a real masochist, do them as a goblet squat. Um, and equally, if you want to use kettlebells for the RDLs, you can do. You could even stop, hop, sort of make for swings. Same movement pattern, just a different way of doing it. 10 seconds to go in this round. We've got a 25 second round coming up next. Time. This is more cardio than I've done in a long time. It's ridiculous. I'm also regretting hitting the leg press earlier today. But, hey you go. That was my choice. So, hopefully, if you're working out along with this live, send me a little thumbs up, let me know what's happening, and let's get into the push ups. And that's just halfway. Like I said in the last night's video, if there's anything that you want me to cover, either body part specific or equipment specific, let me know. And I'll be happy to go over it in a future workout. Right, 25 seconds of RDL. You ready? Let's go. got four total rounds left to go. One more squats at 25 seconds and then 15 seconds on everything else. 
tell you one thing, this is going to be good for It's getting my cardio up now, right? Anyway, I was. Oh. So. Um, okay, you ready? Let's get the squats done. Nice and easy. It's only 25 seconds. Like I say, you keep it up with us at home. Um, and hopefully, you're loving it as much as I am. We've got more rounds of everything to go. So, back to push ups. Now, remember, the banded ones are fine, body weight is fine, if you want to do them on an incline, that's fine as well. Basic principles stay the same keep your pelvis tucked slightly, uh, keep your glutes tight. And keep your elbows out to about 45 degrees. Okay, right. 15 seconds. What I was talking about with the push up position here. You see a lot of people push up on their way out here. Okay, so the elbows out in line with the shoulder. That's going to put a bit of stress to your shoulder. Uh, for most people, it's fine most of the time, but eventually it's going to get grumpy. So I teach is 60 to 45 degrees for the most part. Okay, if you want to bring it in closer, that's great. You get a little more tricep on that front of the shoulder as well, but in a good way. Oh, I'm going. So for your push-ups, that 45 degree mark is pretty good. So, one more set of body else. Last set of those. Incidentally, probably better to do those with shoes on for the band. Digs into your feet. Um, so yeah, with a push up about 45 degrees, the hinge is coming from your hips, driving back, hip load, coming through your hamstrings, and then squat, hips are travelling downwards more. So you have to go more into the quads, straight out into the hamstrings as well. Only 10 seconds left on this rest time, we've got 15 seconds more to work and then you're done for the night. You ready? Let's go. Ten to go. Five to go. Time. Well done everybody. Well, thank you for those who tuned in. Really appreciate taking the time. Like I say, if there's any other uh, body parts you want me to cover or um, pieces of equipment you want me to look at, um, if I have them, I'll be happy to do it. Have a great evening. See you later.